Hi, and welcome to the guided practice for lesson uh, 10.2. And I'm uh, going to just get in on it right now. I'm zoom out a little bit so we can answer these questions. What is the uh, minimum value? Well, in here, the minimum value is the end of the whisker right here. This is a whisker and this is the box. So this is the minimum value that looks like it's gonna be 72, right? Because in between 70 and 74 is 72. So I got 72 there. Our maximum value is the other side, the other whisker, which is right here. Uh, that looks like if that's 86 and that's 90, that would be 88. So 88 is our maximum or largest value. The median, is the number right inside, right? So if we, if I write this out, this is the minimum, the maximum, and this is the median. And this is the lower quartile and the upper quartile. That goes back to sixth grade, but that's a little review. Uh, and uh, the previous lesson also uh, talks about that. Anyway, the median uh, looks like it's going to be 79, right? Because 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, that's going to be 79. So 79. Okay, the range. The range is the biggest number, the biggest number minus the smallest number. So the max minus the min. And uh, that would be our 88 minus 72 and that is 16. The interquartile range, right, that's the IQR, interquartile range, the, you have to take the quartiles and subtract them. So our upper quartile is uh, 85, right, that, that 84, 85, and our lower quartile would be 75, right? Because 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, and so on. Uh, so that was uh, 85 minus 75, which is uh, 10. Let's use the box plots to show the distribution of the hockey, okay, hockey and volleyball players. Hmm. Okay, which group has a greater median? So we look at this number right here. There is the median for the hockey, and this is for the volleyball players. So it's going to be volleyball. And which group has the shortest player? The shortest player, that would be the minimum right there. And comparing these two would be the hockey players. And which group has an interquartile range of about 10? This goes from 68 to 78, so that's 10. And this one looks like it's 66, right? That's about 66 to 76. So it looks like they're both, both of them are. So both groups. Okay, um, let's get down to the bottom here. What information can you use to compare box plots? Uh, well, we could use the minimum. We compare those minimum and maximum values. Uh, oh, values. What else uh, that we can compare the medians? Because that's what I did earlier. And I also compared the ranges. And I also compared the interquartile range. Interquartile uh, range. I'm going to bring this over just a little bit. Uh, range. And there you go. There's the down and dirty for the uh, guided practice for lesson 
10.2. Thanks for watching.